Hello and welcome to Die Rolling. Hello. Tonight we are going to do something a little different. We're going to play one of my favourite games from last year. And Beth? No. Star Wars and Drew Awesome? No. Oh, Cards Against Humanity. We're going to play Nemesis. Woohoo! Also known as How to Lose Friends and to Isolate People. Uh, Nemesis is a awesome game uh, that is basically the film Alien. Uh, you are a bunch of people who wake up from hypersleep, and uh, one of your friends is dead, and there's now monsters around on the uh, on the ship. So you have to try to get the ship home. But the twist here is everyone at the table have their own agendas. So although you're kind of working together, you really aren't. Quick question: You haven't invited Will, right? Unfortunately, yes, I have. Nemesis. Wow, what a game. I, do you know what? Heard about it on the internet and um, wanted to play it for a little while. I'm so pleased we brought it to the table. Yeah, um, it's, it's one, like I said, it's one of my favourite games uh, from last year. It's, um, it, it's very unique. There's not many games there which have this kind of mechanics in there. It's, it's obviously been really well play tested. Um, and they, I felt it. Yeah, I feel that that, that, that had had that play yeah. testing in it. Um, yeah, so are there any kind of drawbacks that you found? Because I, I am honestly in love with this game, so it's very hard for me to be um, yeah, be critical of it. As much as I'm an Apple fanboy, you were definitely a Nemesis fanboy. I am a Nemesis um, fanboy. I'm an Awakened Realms fanboy, Yeah, do you know what? I like the game. Um, even though I didn't find it quite a high learning curve, I know that if I took that to my, to my board game group, I would spend half my evening in a rule book and try and explain the rules to them. Not because it's a particularly difficult game once you get the concept of it, but there is a bit of a steep learning curve there. Yeah. Um, it's quite a heavy, heavy game. It isn't. It's, yeah, and it's not a gateway game. And the problem with really good themed games is you, if you went into a board game shop and you were new to this, you go, oh, this looks cool, it's in a big box, it looks fantastic. But it would immediately put you off because of that steep learning curve. Now, I, I don't think they can do anything about it because if you did that, it would take away yes, from what was a fantastic least. game. Yeah. Um, but I think most people are watching this channel, if they are looking um, into, into games, there are, this is a game to buy, put on yourself and go play other games before you pick this one up. But it's definitely a fantastic game. Yeah, there is there is some player elimination in it, which can be a, a negative thing for some people, especially when you're sinking in. I mean, it's not a short game. This can take up to a couple of hours. So if you've been spending, you know, an hour playing this game um, and you get knocked out, it's, you know, it's not great because you have to sit there for the rest of the game. Uh, but, you know, I've played this game three or four times now and, um, yeah, I've never had an instance where someone's been taken out right at the beginning. Um, but, yeah, uh, it's, 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 yeah, it's, it's pretty great, to be fair. It is. It is. And, I, and, I, and I'll, I'll say one, one thing about it is it, it just looks fantastic. It's just a, a, a really well-themed game. Yeah, the components are great. There's, there's also one other thing. The, uh, there is like a hidden, uh, not a hidden betrayal mechanic, but basically you can, you're all working together, but also you might be working against each other. Most games I've played of this, we've had at least one person at the table whose mission was to kill one of the other people at the table. And um, that's not for everybody, because no. you know sometimes you want to play a game, you just want to all be on the same side and cooperate. But the good thing is, there's actually a cooperative mode to this, so you can actually just get rid of all those kind of, uh, those kind of like, and we didn't play this one, 
and weirdly, as per her feeling, Will was the betrayer. Yeah, I mean, the problem with Willie plays his hand really quick. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Yeah. Overall, though, great. Fantastic. Time to go to the dice bag. Right, so, uh, let's close on the doors. Let's find something here. So, we pulled out a, <laughs> a coin of some kind. So, we either have the result of skull or blank. Um, so, out of those two, what would you give Nemesis? A skull or a blank? Well, I don't think you can give it blank because it's got a huge amount of depth. It's a fantastic game, loads and loads of fun, and, and certainly colourful to the eye, and, and beautiful die. So, ultimately, for me, it's a skull. I would also say, I mean, it was probably obvious from the offset of this video, this is going to be a skull from me. Um, it does really represent the game because, um, yeah, it's, it's pretty evil, but in a good way. And at least it wasn't a D20. Yes. die rolling make sure you catch us on facebook instagram youtube and make sure you like and subscribe please uh, and if you don't want to miss an episode make sure you ring that bell i know i will cool